Hi there, my name's Alana, and you could say that I'm obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury, and you could say it because it's true. Here on my channel, we love talking about Charlotte Tilbury, and I have approximately 60 videos dedicated to Charlotte Tilbury's makeup here on my channel. Now, for the longest time, I'd sort of wondered about Charlotte, like, where is the powder highlighter? For the longest time, the only powder highlighter that I really had access to in Charlotte's range that wasn't limited edition was the highlighter inside the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I really liked it. And then for Christmas, I want to say it was about two years ago, she released that limited edition highlighter that wasn't so limited edition because it was available for quite a while. And again, I really enjoyed it, but I was always just like, where is the highlighter range? Like, where's the, where's the powder highlighter range? And for a while, I was like, well, maybe she's just really focused on creams. But here we are. Here we are. We have powder highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte always gives her products long convoluted names that probably include Darling, Pillow Talk, Highlighting Glow, Celestial something. So these are the new Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters. 48 Canadian dollars available in seven different shades and I'm very fortunate today to have five different shades to share with you here on my channel. So you may be wondering how did I end up with five of seven shades? So Charlotte Tilbury sometimes sends me PR, but they don't really tell you in advance and you don't always know, like it's not always a full collection and you just, you just don't know and sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. So if there's a product I really want to review on my channel, I just purchase it. And if Charlotte sends it to me, I have a dupe, I not dupe, like I have a duplicate. I can always give to a friend or family, like, you know, I make it work, but I love reviewing Charlotte. So, you know, I just order it so that way I get it quickly. So this time she sent me a few of the shades. So this is the Hollywood Glow Guide Face Architect Highlighter, the PR set. And inside I got, let's see if I can do this properly, <laughs> two brushes and two of the shades. But I had already purchased for myself, let's just, I have this like pile of makeup in front of me. I had already purchased for myself three of the shades. But what's really cool is none of those shades overlap, which I think is just like, like a miracle, basically. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you comparison swatches of the five shades that I have. I'm gonna be applying them just as a highlighter on my face. I'm wearing one of them right now. And then I'm also gonna do a quick formula comparison between the two other powder highlights from Charlotte Tilbury that I have and the new Rare Beauty highlighter. Also wanted to throw in that I am wearing a new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is Blossom Red, it's very pretty. This is from her Lunar New Year collection. It's in the Matte Revolution formula. And it's a very comfortable matte sort of muted Berkey Red. So I really do feel like it's quite pretty. It's not necessarily a lipstick that I would have paired with this look, but I wanted to give it its kind of moment in the sun. Typically I would do a video dedicated to the lipstick as well. But if you're not familiar with my channel, uh, I'm sitting here right now with a broken foot. It's 10.30 at night. Tomorrow morning at 7.30 I have my surgery consult. And I'm just trying to just get out a couple of videos of things I really want to review for you guys and also have some content up. So I wanted this to be its own video. Normally I do that, but I just wasn't able. Also doing that involves a lot of standing and walking and I'm really trying to not walk because my foot is broken. So with that out of the way, let's try on these highlighters. Okay, so this is going to be our first time trying one of the Charlotte Tilbury highlighters. We're starting off with Champagne Glow. I'm going in with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. So we're just going to kind of swipe it around and then just really blend it in. I think a highlighter like this benefits from some blending action to just really diffuse that pearl. Put a little touch on our nose, on our lips. A little touch under our eyes. I know it's gonna cover it up, but like a little glow peeking through. I'm already very impressed by this formula. It's very soft, very buttery. Like just look at that. It blended in so, so nicely, but of course we do have more shades to check out. Okay, so we just saw me apply Champagne Glow and I did also apply, that's the one I'm already wearing at the start of the video. But let me just say, I think it's really pretty. Like I think it's very pearlescent. I think it blends in very well, so. Okay, so next up we have Pillow Talk, which is this really pretty pinky shade. And we're just gonna go in with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. And I gotta say, while it does look quite pink in the pan, it it just looks glowy. Like it doesn't, I don't really feel like that pink translates onto the cheek. So let's try our next shade. Okay, for Moonlight Glow, let's try the Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter Brush. So we're going to just 
Oh wow, that diffuses it very nicely. Really like, it's like it, like it just blends itself. Okay, so this again is Moonlit Glow, which is the lightest shade. Oh, this brush is so soft. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little bit more of a silvery highlight. So what I actually want to try with it is also using it with this little eye smudger. So let's just put it right in the corner. Okay, that just really brightens it up. And then just pop it just right up under here. So I think this one might actually be my favorite one yet, mostly because I think it's so far just the most flattering for my complexion. Of course, whatever highlighter looks the best on you is just gonna be whichever one looks best on your complexion. Okay, so these two shades are definitely darker shades that I wouldn't purchase for myself, but from a review perspective, I am excited to be able to give you my thoughts on them. This is like a pretty dark shade. I don't think that this is the most flattering on me, but like, it's a really pretty glow. Like, it's very wearable. I honestly did not think that this particular shade would be very wearable for me from a highlighter perspective. I did think that maybe I could like wear it on my eyes or something like that. You can definitely do that in this video. I wish I could, but I just can't. So the last shade I have to share with you is rose gold glow so let's take off this bronze and put on the rose gold and this isn't a shade that i would i think leave the house in this isn't a shade that i purchased for myself because it is quite pigmented i do think it'd be a lot prettier on some of the deeper complexion but it does work like it warms up the face i feel like this could be maybe more of a blush topper for me rather than you know a true highlighter but it has the glow i, I think it's really pretty i will definitely say that for me, the fairer shades, I do think flatter my complexion more. So let's jump really quickly to swatches and then I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. So let's talk a bit about the packaging. This is the same shape of packaging that her airbrush uh, finish powder comes in. Same kind of shape, same kind of color, but it does have this really pretty star design with Hollywood written across it. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but let's, first of all, it's actually really hard to open. Like, given, given the kind of packaging it is. So not impossible, but got a pretty little mirror, and then you have the powder. So the powder has a whole bunch of stars embossed on it. And I guess you can't hear it, but here, you can see how it turns around. And that is because it looks like it's a refillable package. So on the very back, we have a little pin that you can pop out. Um, so at first I was worried when the highlighter was swirling around in the pan, but now I just know it's because it's more sustainable, which is lovely. But I do wish that the products were a little more firmly put in there. So let's get to the swatches. Okay, we have a lot of highlighters on here. So first up, right over here, you can barely see it. That is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Highlighter from the Light Medium Palette. It's a very subtle highlighter. I've liked it for a long time, but uh, it just doesn't. doesn't compare as so you get further down. Next up, we have the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter right here. A little more pink tone. That was the limited edition holiday uh, highlighter from a couple of years ago. Then we have Moonlit Glow right here, which is this very soft, very pale champagne. Next, we have Champagne Glow. Is this gonna be the new champagne pop? A um, little bit more pigmented, a little bit more gold than Moonlit Glow, but I will say the tones are very similar in that sort of yellowy um, gold shade. Next up, we have Pillow Talk Glow, and is it a Charlotte collection without Pillow Talk? Really, really pretty, pretty pink. Next up, we have Rose Gold Glow and Bronze Glow. These two are much more pigmented. I think they'd be very flattering on my deeper skin friends and followers. But um, as you saw when I had it on my face, it did look quite pretty. And then finally, I want to talk about a formula comparison between the new Rare Beauty highlighters. So I have Mesmerize, which is the pink one, and Enlighten. The biggest thing is I would say that the Rare Beauty highlighters are a lot softer, more very, very soft glow with sort of um, more of a, a sparkle, like a very diffused sparkle on it. Whereas I would say that the Charlotte Tilbury highlighters are a bit more of a traditional powder highlighter. Very blendable, very pearlescent. But I would say that the Charlotte ones are more of a pearl, whereas the Rare Beauty are more of a shimmer. I hope that makes sense. They're both beautiful. I think they're different enough to justify both in your collection. So if you were interested, you could totally get maybe like the pink in, you know, for example, the pink in one of the lines and then maybe the white or the gold in the other, you know, so that way you have a bit of variety. But overall, two beautiful formulas, and I will say that both the Rare Beauty and the Charlotte Tilbury uh, formulas are a lot better than the older Charlotte formulas, so definitely an improvement there. 
Okay, so there you have it. Five out of the seven shades of the brand new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. These highlighters, I think, are very pretty. I'm... I like them. Okay, I think they're very pretty. This shade in particular, this is the rose gold. It's a lot deeper than I would typically reach for, but the formula, buttery, it basically blends itself. It's such a pretty like pearlescent formula, glides beautifully on the skin, gives such a glow. And I think Charlotte, again, has done a fantastic job. If you're someone like me who prefers powder to liquid products, look, liquid's fun, but to me, like I'm, I'm a powder girly, right? I like powder products. I really think you can get an almost sort of like liquid highlighter glow like it's really like there's a lot of glow in there and I think these are really pretty and I will say I really do think that this is a formula improvement compared to the other um, powder highlighters that exist in her range and have existed as limited edition products in the past so Charlotte you did it again and once again if you're new to my channel definitely subscribe because we love talking about Charlotte Tilbury here on my channel and one of the next videos I will have up while I recover from foot surgery is all, and I mean all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, swatched, tried on, like compared. It's going to be like a lipstick encyclopedia. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for all your kind words through my recovery, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.